Okay, today's demonstration, we're going to be working with detail, building all of the structure of this trunk on the baby elephant for my latest work. What I've done to start off with is laid a lot of the dark and mid-tones through. By doing this, which I'm using a combination of both warm and cool, cool greys to build up, it then allows me to drag my light raw umber and warm white through to create all the ridges quite easily. The beauty of working lightly with pastel is that I can build as required under these circumstances. Giving the illusion of so much more than what's actually there. The raw umber I'll be using for most of the base just subtle highlights flip through with the warm white perfect. By working with a round pastel and keeping a nice sharp edge on the outside, it allows me a lot more control to do these details. I don't like working with pastel pencils. I prefer the challenge of trying to bring it all together using the sticks as they are. in particular spots with a greater emphasis. I bring in my darkest tone, which has also been flicked in at the mouth at the moment and around the eye. Cool grey. Very sparing use of it. Just at key points to build deeper ridges. It will help really lift this and bring it to the level that I want it to be. It'll become more prominent as I move down to the lower sections of the trunk. The upper level is done using a middle warm grey to score through and create what's required. Darkness will come light and create form. The main aim of what I'm trying to achieve here. As you can see, I've already laid the undertones. Through that, given the texture of the elephant's trunk and the rough surface of the hide, 
I need to flick a few highlights just through every now and again to show the deep fissures and where the ridges actually start playing together. Here is the illusion of detail rather than absolute detail this time around. shadows coming through, we need to really emphasise the strong light that's creating them. of what I'm creating here is using reflected light. A very important key to keep in mind any time you're working on pretty much every subject. If you've got more than one object in a piece, chances are that object A will be affected by object B in some manner. to portraying that realistically is to understand those relationships and bring them in to a unified whole. 